Hello. In our short demo today, we're going to discuss the ability for the bowlers at the bowler console or the cashier at your front desk to be able to enter a substitute into a league that will bowl tonight. Let's take a look here at lanes one through four. One through four is bowling with the tournament cup because we've already sent a demo league to lanes one through four and they might be practicing, they really haven't started bowling yet, and or they're getting ready to bowl, let's say in about 15 more minutes. Okay, so one of the most common mistakes of our bowling centers is when they open up lane three and four, they want to put in a substitute. So they click on lane three and four, and what you'll find is that you cannot add a player to these lanes at all. If I select lane four, I cannot add a player. It just it just will not allow you to do it because this is a tournament. Okay? And the number one mistake that the cashiers will do is they will just change the name here and then type in a substitute's name. On this demo that we're running today, we've got this ability blocked. So you cannot just override the names um, at the front desk screen. Okay, We're not going to allow it here at the front desk and we're not going to allow it at the lanes either. So if you have turned this feature on that you can change the bowler's names, then we suggest that you turn that off. If I look in the configuration manager, let's go see where we can find that setting. Under configuration manager, under lanes, if we look here for tournament and league, it's been blocked. If you have put it on allow or ask, then you are allowing the cashier to change the name of the bowler. And again, we don't recommend that because I will, I will show you why. So let's go back to our lanes three and four. You see they're still in use. If I click here on three and four, if I wanted to add another player, I cannot do that. And that is because this is a tournament. So let me show you how to do that. You close this window down because lanes one through four are using the league information and you make all your changes from the tournament manager. Let's open up my demo league. We click here. And if you'll notice here, uh, this is the sessions that are bowling right now. Team soccer is on lane one, team two, I'm sorry, lane two, three, and four. So let's, let's pretend now that we need a player to be added to the uh, list that doesn't exist in the BLS program. So what we do is we go back here to the teams and rosters. We click on this team right here. or we can uh, select the different lane that we'd like to uh, put a player on. So it's actually lane three that we'd like to put a substitute in. Okay, and the substitute's name, we'll pretend today his name is uh, Tom Jones. So we click here, add a player. I'm gonna create a brand new one. We say yes. Now it's added a new player and it's all lined out and it's all kind of a different color that's because there are four players on the team and there are only four players allowed to bowl on this team. So now I click right here that I can change the player's name. The first name is Tom Jones. His handicap will say is 34 and his blind score is uh, 112. We click on OK. And now, if I wanted to update this information onto the lanes, I can do this right here automatically. But again, we have four players, and we have a fifth player, but it's only a four-player roster. So let's go back to the lanes now and make our modification. Let's close this window down. Let's go over here to lanes manager. Let's go over here to lane three and four. And we're going to say that this person here is not going to bowl tonight. We click on substitute player and we're going to choose Tom Jones to be bowling in his place. Send the information to the lanes and that's how you do it. That's how you put a substitute in using focus. 
you need to do this through the tournament manager. That's the best way. Because again, the number one mistake is that the bowlers are allowed or the front desk was allowed to just backspace over the name, clicking here and changing the name. Well, if I change this name, it doesn't really mean that Forrest uh, wasn't going to bowl. It means really that Forrest changed his name for the night. So you don't put in Forrest. You don't put a substitute in here by changing, by just backspacing over his name and that's why we have it blocked on our system so that you cannot do that at the front desk and you cannot do it at the bowler console you make all your brand new what we call on the fly we're going to add somebody on the fly immediately to the lanes so continuing on we'll press send to lanes and the bowlers can actually bowl if we look at lanes three and four I'm sure we'll find Tom Jones is still a substitute okay so let's close that down and we're done and as usual when it's time to bowl we can put them into auto because right now the pin setters are on off maybe we put them into practice but we'll go into that later on how to run the league management system